RME's ADI series comes equipped with a sophisticated and powerful parametric equalizer. Five EQ bands with different filter shapes give precise control over the complete frequency spectrum. The graphical interface is clean and shows exactly the EQ curve as well as the current output volume meter. Changes in volume by boosting or cutting frequency bands are therefore instantly visible. To open up the equalizer, press the EQ key. A second click will bring you to the EQ enable slash preset page, where you can turn the EQ on or off and also load and store presets. The EQ can be operated in two ways, either quickly with the volume knob or more detailed with the encoders. Pressing the volume knob steps through the bands, while turning the knob changes the gain of each respective band. Pushing encoder 2 selects the parameter line below the frequency graph. By turning, we can change the gain of each band with the volume knob, change the frequency of the respective band with the encoder 1 and the quality factor with the encoder 2. Remember that the settings of each output are stored separately. Therefore, you can have, for example, a different EQ curve for your headphones and your in-ear monitors while the main outputs remain untouched or any other combination that you like. If you like to work without a graphical interface, you can access the EQ settings in the EQ subpage with the I.O. button. When the dual EQ is enabled, EQ curves for the left and right channel can be adjusted independently. This is extremely useful for room adjustments of your speakers or if you want to match the headphones to your listening habits. Hit the I.O. button and scroll down the settings menu by pressing the second encoder until you reach the menu item Dual EQ. Turn the second encoder to activate or deactivate. You can now switch between the left and right channels by turning the first encoder while being in the EQ screen dialog.